Hey everyone, I'm Del Chrome and I'm going to be showing you the complete guide to sloopery. Let's start. Today we're going to be talking about cargo, statistics, and how to sail the sloop, which is basically all you need to know to get started. Alright, first we're going to start with the anchor. You always want to raise the anchor before you sail. If you don't, you're going to go super slow and then you're just going to quit the game because you don't know what's going on. You always want to raise the anchor, alright? This is very important. Next. Whenever you want to start... Oh. <laughs> wow. Whenever you want to start sailing, always want to go to this right rope over here to the right of the helm and pull down. That will make the sails go down. And obviously that's how you get your speed. The wind pushes into the sail, you start moving. And see how slow we're moving with the anchor down? Yeah, it's pretty annoying. So you always want to raise the anchor <coughs> before you lower the sails. Now, another interesting part that you need to know is the adjustment of the sails, or the angling. Not many people know this because they don't really, I don't know, play ship games that much, or know how to operate a ship. But to turn the angle left, you just have to hold down, turn the angle right, you just have to hold up, or S and W for computer users. Now, if you don't know how to use the angling of the mast, here's how it is. You angle it to where the mast is facing the direction that the flag is pointing. Now, it can only go a certain, a certain way or a certain area until it starts to stop. But as you can see there, just up here, the flag is pointing this way, and the farthest the mass can turn is this way, but it's still going to get a lot more wind than if it was front or to the right. Now over onto the helm, lots of people don't, don't know this simply because, well again, they've probably never played Ship Kings or know how to ship work, but the wheel turns and then it stops. It, it doesn't turn back, alright? You have to turn it, and it keeps turning until you turn back. And the way to know that it's all the way up to the top is when this gold ring is on the top. But I feel like that should be obvious. But not many people know that. So once the ring's on top, you'll be sailing straight. Also, uh, one of my friends had a question. He thought that the angling of the sails was just to help with turning. And he asked me, does it actually help with turning? No, it does not. You can angle it, and it will tilt your ship but it does not actually turn your ship, so you can still sail in a straight line. <coughs> really quickly, I want to talk about the cannons. The sloop only has two cannons, one on port side and one on the starboard side, and it's not very good for firing at enemy ships. I would not recommend the sloop at all for combat engagements. Down here, you will have your furnace right here, but it is not necessary because you can buy iron at Volney. You need a crafting bench, and you need a wood cutting station. I just have a light in here because it gets dark. Next up is the cargo capacity. With all these things, the cannons, all right, um, the crafting station, and the wood cutting station, you can hold around 50 cargo, give or take. I could hold 51 if you completely fill up the entire ship, all right? This area, that area, mid deck and below deck, you could fill all this up, and if you remove the cannons and the crafting table and woodworking bench, which I do not recommend, you could fit around 50 to 60. It depends on how good you do. All right, next up is the stats. Now, the sloop does not have good statistics. It's the second fastest ship in the game, or second slowest, because there are only three ships currently. Its maneuverability is very great. It can outmaneuver a whole bunch of other ships, but I wouldn't really try to, because if you're in a sloop, you're obviously inexperienced with this game, and uh, just try and go for the schooner, because the schooner is really great. Alright. It has very bad durability. With one broadside salvo from a brig, three cannons, not one, three cannons on one side, that could sink a sloop in 10 seconds, because it fills up with water so fast that it can't really do anything about it. 
but to fix a hole all you need to get is a wood plank fill up the hole and then get a bucket and grab the water and throw it out of the side to craft a bucket you only need three wooden planks and one iron bar <coughs> next thing the sloop can sink very easily as i said but especially just in water as you can see right now the tide is nice and low it's it's calm but as you move further out there's going to be super high waves and they can crash over the deck causing you to drown <coughs> you can see how you drown because if the water goes over your deck you'll see a flooding animation go through this door and you'll start to see the water level rise it's a light blue color and so that's how you know you're sinking if you want you can turn off these lanterns in the dark to make sure people don't really notice you but you can't turn off the lantern on the mast so I guess it's kind of useless <laughs> and uh, also the crow's nest climb up not many people really use this but it is very useful for spotting enemy ships and islands wherever you go. So just jump up here. See how the wind is going that way, so I would turn the sail that way. I'll go up here, I can find all the islands around me, look for ships, and also for larger ships, you can climb up here to see which way the flag is pointing because the masts are sometimes too large for you to zoom out and see. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a really fun time recording it. Um, make sure to subscribe if you want new guides. I'm going to be posting a crafting guide soon and a guide to schoonery. Also, check out the description where you could find a link to our naval group if you want to come and join us. I will be answering any questions you have in the comments. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.